all about inclusivity here, making sure that at least everyone is represented, or everyone feels as though they are part of the process. As Boko, there is what we call stakeholder engagement. What that proposal is doing is trying to engage stakeholders in a wider platform, oh, oh. so that every view is heard and participate in vetting of the IBC. And, and why I said that this thing is not happening for the first time, it happened in 1996, is because I also want us to discuss our politics in context. Mm. We, have, we have always fought after every election, save for 2002. After every election we have fought, we have disputed elections, we have killed each other for the reason that we have distrusted IEBC. We have always said that now I, either they were paid or they were compromised, compromised or they were pushed by whoever becomes the winner to declare them the winner. So if you have your own represented in that commission, mm -hmm. then they will come and tell you that indeed, we were compromised. So, so you we know, at, at, at when, when you have a referee from a certain team, it doesn't make fairness. Which referee? Which referee? So the re religious leaders always say that they have their referee. <laughs> the other institutions <laughs> represented they say they have their referee. All right, let's take a look at this video here. Uh, this is what uh, the president had to say. Whose objective is really nothing more than to find what ails our country and hopefully give us a solution that will heal our country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Solutions that will heal our country. Yes. And that is where, that is a bone of, the, of, of contention. Some feel this solution can heal the country, but some feel like this solution is meant to heal certain individuals. You know, Aguko, yesterday, there's no speaker who said that this document is final and final, take it or leave it. The reason why it is called a national conversation is because it is a discourse that now it's going to Kenyans and Kenyans after they gave their views, mm -hmm. they now reflect and see this document. How do we implement through the proposed matrices? Now, the issues that are going to give solutions, and I want us to go there because that's what the most important thing. Our viewers would want to know how mm -hmm. is this document going to change their life for uh -huh. the better. Yeah. Number one, I'll start by young people. The young people have every reason to smile because of this document. Why? Number one, it creates an opportunity where their problems and challenges converges at a commission that is established under, article, uh, under chapter 15. That commission today is not there, and therefore their issues are disintegrating. Mm -hmm. They cannot be channeled to a, towards one channel of, of, of solving. Number two, the issue of help, it gives a moratorium, it gives a period. You are a beneficiary of help. And the majority of the beneficiary of help, some of us were beneficiaries. We came from poor families. But you know what? We started paying when we got jobs. Today, if you don't have a job and you are a beneficiary, it will take you another four years, a moratorium, so that you start paying. And even those who have gotten jobs and are not very stable, there's a guarantee that mm -hmm. you can pay. Then the other one on the young people, Aguko, these reports, the majority of the young people are in the villages. Those people that they call hustlers are in the villages. And this report is for the hustler. You know why? This report provides that in every ward, there shall be incubation centers. In every ward, there shall be fund that is catering for industrialization and for provision of the socio-economic rights in Article 43 that we have been missing for a very long time. And therefore, there is creation of job at the ward level that will stop urban Rural urban migration. And, uh, and you, you know? see, the, the hustler may disagree. We, we are talking about the youths and... Uh, ha, Not how, the real hustler. Maybe the fake hustler. Well, the youths... Uh, uh, how, how, how can the youths be actually you know, involved in this BBI? Are, are they involved? Um, um, let me quote the Deputy President, William Ruto. He said, the real problem is that these young people are jobless. Now, you see, let me start by answering uh, what you, uh, rather, your, your, your earlier question. You know, the current constitution, 2010, mm -hmm. was passed by 67% of Kenyans. That means that 33% of Kenyans rejected it. That means they had a reason for rejecting it. And that is why we are having this conversation, to try to understand why the 33% of the Kenyans rejected it. Now, this BBI report may not be the perfect answer to that, 
but certainly it is going to be an improvement to that. Hopefully we will have now the number, the other percentage it increasing to 70 or 80. Now, how will it directly benefit Mwanainchi Wakawaida? There are many ways. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and even before I go to that, remember, people think that this thing is about, uh, uh, about the referendum. It is not. Correct. The referendum, uh, there, are, there are only a few questions that will go to the, ref to the referendum. Mm. A number of these things will go to parliament. Those who don't agree with them, if these things come to parliament and they are in parliament, they have the time the, and the opportunity there to discuss it and, 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 and change. Some of them are, 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 are uh, uh, policy, uh, will involve some policy change. Some of them will be operational, just change at operational level, administrative, okay. administrative level. Uh, now, of, of, of which, um, okay, after, after you're done with your point, maybe you can attach it to the part of the BBI document that you, you, you like. What is it that you feel that impressed you? And what is it that you feel like needs to be added? Because you said it's a work in progress, you too. Yes. Thank you. Now, I, I, why I, uh, I said that uh, uh, people should be happy about this constitution, mm -hmm. and uh, probably because it will answer the question of joblessness, is because, because it relaxes room for doing business. It relaxes the business environment. For example, one of them is a business that is to be registered today after this thing is passed by a youth mm -hmm. will not pay tax for seven years. Correct. A mm -hmm. business that starts today under the current arrangement, you start today and tomorrow you will have a lot of bills to pay to the government. Recently there was a case of some lady who was trying to sell water. And for her to go into that water, this water, uh, bottling water, refilling business, mm -hmm. she had almost a million Kenya shillings to pay in terms of uh, different levies, different taxes, different whatever. But now this one is saying that if you pass this, then such people will have to commence their businesses if they are youth and do it for seven years without paying any tax. If you are able to do business without paying tax, it means you are able to engage other people, employ people here and there. And so jobs will be there. Again, we've we just talked about, about, about young people graduating from the universities. You have seven, rather four, four years, years to start repaying your loan. Even if you got some job today, you, uh, rather even if you graduate today and the next four years you're still jobless, you're not being hounded by, uh, by, 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 by help to start paying. And there's no interest accruing. Yes. And then there is the Youth Commission that he has mm -hmm. talked about that will centralize will centralize all problems that the youth are facing under a, co a constitutional commission. Mm.